It was a ceremonial groundbreaking, partly because of the downpour, but the rain didn't dampen the expectations of the federal, state, and local officials who came out to support plans to build a new state-of-the-art cancer institute at Cooper University Hospital. This building in Camden was critically important to all of us. We felt that we needed to be in Camden to be part of the academic mission of Camden. Cooper University Hospital has been caring for cancer patients since it opened in 1887. Today, more than 2,000 new patients are treated here annually. The new $100 million Cancer Institute, which will be located steps away from the hospital, is designed to provide patients one facility that houses all outpatient cancer care services. Governor Chris Christie applauded former Governor Jim McGreevy for jumpstarting this project. Christie called it a worthy investment in an economically depressed city that has often been overlooked in the past. All of us who now have the great honor to hold the positions that we hold in state government have a responsibility to right past wrongs and to set forward a vision for a future that will be better for the people of this city and the people of this region. This project will not only bring healing and health to those that are dealing with cancer, it also brings healing and health to a city that has needed it for so long. The Cancer Institute is one of several projects here at the Health Sciences Campus. Roberts Pavilion opened in 2008, and the medical school is scheduled to be completed this summer. But officials here say significant investments have also been made to improve the surrounding neighborhoods. The investments that we've made over the last several years in streetscaping, landscaping, security, uh, beyond the borders of our campus have been critically important. It's also good for those men and women who are working outside, some in the rain today, the ones that will put the steel in the ground and put a facility before us. It's good for the economy. The Cancer Institute is expected to be completed in the fall of 2013. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Camden.